Welcome back. Doctors from the World Cancer Research Fund say in the United States, colorectal cancer is the third most common cancer diagnosis. Just this year alone, there's already been about 140,000 new cases so far. But there are some ways that you can protect yourself. Joining us now is Dr. Thiru Lakshman. I said that right. Yes, that's Yay. exactly right. Yay. And Anne Elizabeth Hall, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Uh, because March is a colorectal cancer awareness month, so I'm glad that we got you in here in March. Uh, and happy St. Patrick's Day. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> I forgot my green. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I won't pinch you. I won't pinch you. Uh, so let's start from the top. Colorectal cancer, what is it? How does it strike the body? Uh, that's a great question. So it is a cancer that affects what's called the colon or the rectum, which is part of the large intestine. Uh, it's generally a tumorous growth that starts in the lining of the colon. Uh, usually starts at what we call a polyp. I mean, you've heard people talk about getting mm -hmm. screened for polyps. And these polyps, uh, if they can continue to grow unchecked, can turn into cancers. Oh. And then these cancers can continue to grow and then spread into the rest of the body. What, what is, do we know what's causing it? Yeah, there's, there's uh, a lot of factors that are, can be involved. There's some genetic hereditary factors, some uh, more rare genetic mutations that can lead to cancer, particularly some involving women particularly. Um, there's a lot of environmental and lifestyle factors. What we know for sure can cause an increased risk for colon rectal cancer is <clears throat> a high fat, low fiber diet, excess smoking or alcohol, sedentary lifestyle. Um, those things we know definitely can, can lead to increased incidence of colon cancer. Yeah, got it. Anne Elizabeth, tell me, uh, how has this impacted you? Um, I was diagnosed with uh, rectal cancer in um, the Tuesday after Labor Day this year, and um, I had had symptoms um, that I just, you know, my body felt I was just different, mm -hmm. and so I'd gone to my um, GP, and they had recommended that I see Dr. Lakshman, and so um, I had the exam, and he found a mass, um, and so... Um, I was diagnosed the Tuesday after Labor Day. How long have those symptoms been been going on? Um, since about June. Um, so I had um, I'd had just symptoms, you know, near the rectum mm -hmm. that were bothering me, and then they started bothering my tailbone. I was okay. like. I've got some pain in my tailbone. This is kind of weird what's going on. Yeah. And it ended up being a tumor. And is that what, what happens? People are feeling something different? You know, that it, it can, yeah. And usually that's one of the more later findings. I think that's why Anne's story is so important to highlight, particularly now in March during colorectal cancer awareness, because when you're having symptoms or issues like this, it's important to see your doctor and get checked and get referred to the right type of specialist. Yeah. If Anne hadn't you know, paid attention to these signs and symptoms and come in and gotten evaluated, we probably wouldn't have found it uh, and she wouldn't be here talking about it today. We found that because in the great majority of cases for colon and rectal cancer, a lot of times you don't have symptoms until it's really progressed right. later on. I want to get to this really quick before we go because we, we know that age is a, some, a factor in some way, but we're saying that no, it can strike anyone no. at any age. That's yeah. correct, yeah. I mean, Anne is, you know, we, what we'd consider historically younger for that. Um, generally, it, it's sort of been thought of as a, as a disease of an older person, you know, but what we've seen now is that it's starting to show up more and more in younger people. A big study that just came out showed that the rate of incidence in patients under the age of 50 has increased significantly. Mm. Um, so that's why <clears throat> at the age of 50 it's really important to get screened with a colonoscopy or some sort of screening tool. Um, but if you're under the age of 50 or if you have a family history of colon rectal cancer uh, and there's any sort of symptoms or something suspicious then check with your doctor, see a colorectal surgeon, you know, get it checked out. Dr. Lakshman, really quickly, how can folks reach you if they, if they want to get tested? So they can reach either through St. David's Healthcare uh, with Central Texas Colonorectal Surgery is where I work um, and you just the main thing is talk to your primary care physician if you're of the appropriate age meaning 50 years or older or if there's a family history of colon cancer rectal cancer or talk any to your symptoms or any, any symptoms, symptoms absolutely mm -hmm. talk to your doctor and then uh, get checked out all right Anne Elizabeth thank you for joining us thank, thank you, doctor. you so thank much you.